on our forum we have a thing called the Fat Fingers thread and this thread exists to spot moments when the market just goes completely haywire and it's an interesting thread um, because it shows you how often things go completely haywire and we discuss things like uh, the following so you can see in this market um, the strawberry one was trading around 25s and for some reason it got matched at 4.4 it, you know there could be any explanation for this something trading at 200 gets matched at 11s something trading at 60s gets matched at 2.7 no 2.36 in fact even lower and when you look at these uh, situations that seem to occur frequently there seems to be no real explanation for them maybe a bot is misfiring or something's gone wrong somewhere uh, but obviously the question is how do you sort of exploit this unusual situation that occurs and you'd be surprised how frequently it does occur and the following video um, is how you can set up automation within BetAngel to allow you to pick up on these very unusual aberrations and the great thing about BetAngel is you can do this completely automatically uh, so with that in mind over to the video so on this video I'm going to show you how to create a fat finger rule and the concept of this is that BetAngel will place orders outside of the current prices it's speculatively helping to get matched at uh, very good back or lay prices and then it will automatically trade out for you and it will do this um, over the course of the day you don't have to intervene or do anything it will just work for you uh, quietly automatically without you having to intervene and the automation is within the Guardian area so if we click on G add some markets to Guardian add some racing markets and then if we select one of these markets we can create a rule and to do uh, automation obviously you need to go to the automation area like I said you've clicked on a market and then you can create a new rule for that selected market so what we want to do is we want to place a back order uh, way out of the current price activity and a lay order way out of, of the current lay price and um, therefore to do that if I create the first part of this rules file I'm going to be calling it place a back bet on runner 01 so we want to place a back bet I'm going to say place a back bet up to 30 minutes before the start and we want to place it on row 1 what parameters do we want to apply to this back bet well what we want to do is we want to place it custom ticks above the best market price so this is basically saying you know you've got a current price maybe of 5 uh, we want to place an order you know way beyond five so if I go in there and place an order 20 ticks above the current price I'm gonna place an order for a fixed amount I'm gonna say two pound because that's the minimum stake so I suggest if you're trying to replicate that you use minimum stakes or use practice mode and then we apply so you can see up here place a back button run a one from 30 minutes out to zero and then a description of what it's doing now if I go up here I can copy this rule there you go and um, I can actually amend this one so what I can do now is I can say place a lay bet on runner one change that to lay bet and this time instead of going above the current market price I want to go below the current market price and then I apply that so there you go place a back bet on runner one place a lay bet on this runner one will start in five and minutes. it's inherited the same five characteristics minutes. and then you would repeat that for as many runners as you want within that particular market so you could do runner two three four five and so on and so forth now if we happen to get matched on one of these it's very likely we'll be in a very profitable position so what um, sorry it's just automatically switched to the next market so if we um, get matched on one of these then we want to basically take that profit so what I'm going to do here is add another um, part to this uh, overall rule and what we're going to do here is we're going to say green all selections so I'm just going to say cash out stroke green all and we're going to do that at zero we're going to do that at post time and, and there's no parameters to attach to that so if I apply then basically what this will do is place a back end lay bet on the runner way out of the current price hopefully we get matched if it does get matched we'll probably be in profit but at zero it will green 
or uh, read out at that particular point depending upon what's happened. And if none of those bets have been matched, then it will just close those positions for zero. Um, so that's the rule. I need to save this rule now, so we would call this fat finger. Um, then we can apply it to a market. And in fact, if we go up here and do fat finger, um, apply rules to all markets, then this will apply throughout the, the day. It will continue to um, do this as the day progresses. If we look at the current market, you can see it's placed to orders. So this is the price, 7 on the uh, favorite, and it's placed orders above and below the current price. But what, you can also, what it's also done is as it's going through the card, you can see half, half an hour ahead of us, it's doing it in the other markets as well. And basically, from this point onwards, I don't need to do anything else. It will go through the card, through the whole of the day, placing orders uh, well out of the current price. Hopefully, they'll get matched. And if they do, and the, and the price comes back to its normal level of price activity, um, then it will green out for us automatically as well. And it's that simple. We now have that running. Um, it's going to switch to these markets every 280 seconds. Um, and it will carry on doing this throughout the whole of the day for us. Simple as that. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.